bro it's like his shucking corn i would cry too like this is disrespectful mm. like actually deep down like i'm not gonna sugarcoat it like this is kind of offensive i don't know i thought this was gonna be a sweet movie maybe it gets sweet at the end i'm gonna be 100 percent honest with you guys i've watched maybe five short films in my life I find myself watching a lot of anthology series. I love anthology TV shows. Black Mirror is like up there with one of my favorite shows. More recently, I've been really loving Love, Death and Robots, which is on Netflix. If you haven't seen that, I could not encourage you anymore to go check it out. I think there's like three seasons now. Most of the episodes are really good and I could see them being long form movies. I feel like when you have a full length movie, you have a lot of chances and time to like play around and develop characters. But with a short story, you have only so much time and so everything every single framing is super important. My goal with this is not to criticize these movies. I just want to explore the world of short films and I hope you guys are as curious as I am. I'm so excited because we are going to be watching Hair Love. This short film actually won an Oscar in 2020 which is a big deal and I looked it up on YouTube and it has over like 70 million views which is insane for a short film but again it won an oscar so it kind of makes sense i felt like having a black girl magic video to start this series off felt like the move and also i just recently got my hair done literally like last weekend i'm in the mood for like some hair love right now before we go forward please take a second to like this video and subscribe i'll wait all right let's get started this is hair love <laughs> bonnet so i grew up in cameroon which is in west africa and back home we didn't really have bonnets per se we had like head scarves that we would tie on our heads to go to bed it's really interesting to see that bonnets have like become such a popular thing as of like the last few years and i feel like it's also a huge business every single beauty supply store i go to now has bonnets which is incredible let me show you guys my bonnet <laughs> Since this is hair love, I feel like I should, okay? <laughs> I got them. I secured the bonnets. So this one is like multicolored floral and I love that it doesn't really slide off my head. I feel like the silk ones, the ones that are like this, easily slide off your head, which I really hate because one thing about a bonnet is it will leave your head at night. It doesn't matter how much you secure it, it's gonna leave your head. There's some magical stuff that's going on, but someone needs to investigate about that. But I've seen so many TikToks about bonnets literally like leaving your head at night. It's so funny. And then the second one is like a long, it looks like a freaking bag. Um, it felt really uncomfortable because I love how this just became like a bonnet review video. <laughs> Hold up, is this, <coughs> give me a second, is this three year old about to do her own hair? That's not even hair anymore, that's like a jungle, okay? For a three year old, that's a, that's a lot of hair. I'm trying to guess if the kid is mixed or not, but I mean it's an animation so I guess it's gonna look different, but if you're fully black, your hair does not look like that. It's worse, <laughs> let's just say that. I've seen worse. I love that they're incorporating like modern day stuff that all black girls do like we all go to youtube to look at how to do our hair youtube over the past decade or so has become such a great resource for beauty and hair and just anything that has to do with like beautifying yourself i think sometimes we can take for granted that today it's so easy for us to like go and look up how to do our eyeliner or how to do our own braids and all that like 20 years ago we didn't have all of that and when i was little my parents actually had me learn how to do hair at an actual salon at the age of eight years old i could do braids okay <laughs> i could do cornrows i could put in a weave at the age of eight my parents understood how important it was for me and my sisters to like know how to do hair because when we came to america we were the ones doing each other's hair like i would do my sister's hair when my hair got old she would do my hair and we never spent a dime on paying anyone to do our own hair which is actually something that i've never really appreciated and like thought of hair care is super expensive out here okay thank god for youtube <laughs> A little bit 
bit of work and a whole lot of love. Mwah. Are you ready to do this? All right. Why does that sound like Issa Rae? Is it Issa Rae? I need to look at all the voice actors after this. It sounds ridiculously like Issa. See? Now wasn't that easy? it's kind of scary where did they get this photo of my actual dresser how many hair products does one need and does it actually help that's the one thing i'm trying to figure out because i've been buying so many edge controls i have like three edge controls in there only one of them works and it took me a while to find that one like the one i have on right now is like incredible because it doesn't really leave any like white marks i'll leave the name of it down here if you're looking for edge controls a lot of black hair products are just fakes the hair business is very profitable but they kind of take advantage of that and like sell a lot of like terrible products honestly use the comments below to like drop your favorite hair product why was a dad about to like give up so quickly <laughs> man man Did a comb get lost in there too? Bro! It's like his shucking corn. I'm actually kind of offended by this. Why did this just become like a horror movie? actually deep down like i'm not gonna sugarcoat it like this is kind of offensive you don't need to wrestle her hair to do it like i don't know i thought this was gonna be a sweet movie maybe it gets sweet at the end Dad of the year. <laughs> I would cry too. Like, this is disrespectful. He has black hair and he has long black hair. I think he should understand at some level how to tame black hair. At least some. All it takes is some confidence and a willingness to get started. And even though I'm not there, I'll guide you through this. I want to thank my very special assistant, my daughter Zuri, for helping me with today's vlog, like always. Mm -hmm. And remember, the road ahead might look rough, but you can make the journey with a little bit of work and a whole lot of love. Mwah. She has to have a daughter. No, this is just like their whole family. What used to be. Poor little girl. Are you ready to do this? All right, here we go. First, we want to moisturize these beautiful thick curls with a leave-in conditioner, which will also help detangle the kinks. Now, part all your hair into sections and clip it away. I guess the mom is not dead. I'm so sorry. 
I did not know that. But now she has cancer. They're really pulling at some heartstrings here. They're trying, but I'm not crying yet. I'm not crying yet, okay? I think I'm tough. <laughs> of the mother with the crown. It's beautiful. She's a bald queen, okay? There was a time when I was a bald queen too. I really enjoyed it. There's something about taking a shower when you have short hair. Like it's kind of underrated. It's almost healing. Whenever I have braids, I'm kind of jealous of people who can like wash their hair every single day and just feel the cold water rolling down your scalp i think there's like some medical benefits to like feeling cold water on your head <laughs> very short and sweet why does this movie have like the biggest names on it and it's like six minutes long and there's no dialogue like jordan peele is an executive producer in this and of course isa ray is in it as the vlogger i realized that there's like little to no dialogue in this whole film but for what it is it was pretty short and sweet honestly there's not much to say i'm trying to think of like okay what else can i say but i feel like i kind of give you guys all of my thoughts but let's go ahead and read the comments and see what other people are saying about hair love. The top comment says, short film, how dare you? We need a franchise. This was too adorable. It really was, it was. It kind of pulled on the heartstrings a little bit too much in my opinion. I kind of feel like I need a spin-off of the vlog mom and her daughter. I feel like there's like a huge story there. Another comment says, those final shots, when you can see the mom's hair growing back, it's just so touching. Wait, what? I missed that. Oh, I see. But that's so cool. I didn't even notice that. People have eyes. I guess it's a happy ending. And this person says, our community needs so much of this. We have a little girl and a little boy on the way. We struggle to find images like these to saturate our children with. Yeah, there's not that much education material for black kids to learn about their hair and how to love their hair personally i would not say i have a good relationship with my hair i feel so jealous of women who are like oh my god i love my natural hair like i love you know the curls and i love taking care of my natural hair i made the executive decision last year that the natural hair movement was not for me because it just added way more stress in my life because of just like how much work it was to like tame it every single morning also it just hurt really bad just to like touch my hair it was too much and i would yeah it was just a lot of things going on so i decided to perm my hair last year and honestly i don't regret it one bit thank you guys so so much for watching this video if you want to recommend any short films that you want me to watch in the future please leave them down below if you enjoyed watching this video and want to see more from me please like and comment below and let me know what your favorite part about this movie is or if i miss something that you think is super important i want to know and also subscribe i'll see you in the next video bye you are nothing but a law play i get it